air quality advisories are in effect across western Canada as smoky conditions impact the region. It comes as those fires burn in British Columbia, Alberta and Manitoba, forcing thousands of people from their homes. With more, let's go to CTV's meteorologist Kelsey McEwen in Toronto with more on the advisories impacting our air quality. Kelsey. Air quality reduced across four provinces, one territory at least. That's where the advisories sit, but they've evolved through the morning. Over the next 24 to 48 hours, we'll see air quality fluctuate across the region. Now, part of that has to do with wind direction. It also has to do with fire behavior and any precipitation that might be in the area. Here's the outlook for the next day and a half. We'll see a high concentration of smoke right along northern BC, Alberta, Northwest Territories, and into Saskatchewan as well. But the upper level winds drop drive that smoke to different regions. So in this case, we'll see that smoke push its way southward through the Dakotas and then dive eastward into Ontario and Quebec. Now, as of now, those air quality advisories that were in place in Thunder Bay for the morning, they've lifted. But later on today, we could see a higher concentration of smoke east of Georgian Bay, drifting toward the nation's capital, Montreal area, up toward Quebec City as we head into midday Tuesday. While that's happening, back to Western Canada, we'll see smoke once again pushing southward into the prairies for Regina area for Saskatoon in Saskatchewan and then in toward Dauphin, Brandon, Winnipeg and Manitoba. That will be an evolution we'll watch into late Tuesday, early Wednesday. Now the one factor that could cause that to evolve could be developing rainfall in southern Saskatchewan pushing eastward into Manitoba. That rain helps to clean out the lower atmosphere pulling all of that smoke and particulate matter down to the surface and help flushing out that air quality something we'll watch over the next day or so. Back to you.